Australian? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear them all summer. Yeah. Just gonna live in them. <laughs> They're so exciting. Oh yeah. He really matches it. <laughs> Yeah, I think just even the word art these days, have had, it takes on so many different meanings. People throw it around yeah. really easy. So, I mean, I guess it all depends on your definition of art. But Well, there's a good question. Definition of art? <laughs> I don't even know. I personally don't like to say I'm an artist. Or I don't get like, how do I do art? I just like to paint. I like to draw, so just I paint. I don't know, I, just, I think because people throw it around so much, everyone is an artist, which is true. So, uh, like, everyone has something inside that they really like to do and they like to create this little something that's theirs. Mm -hmm. So I think, I guess, there's the definition. It's just art is something that, you know, that you personally create with your, your insides. Um, I carry around, I don't have them in my nifty pants, but I carry around like a little field notes, like a little drawing notebook with me everywhere I go. So I yeah. just... No matter what, I'll just be drawing. If I'm waiting in line or something, I'll just be fooling around, doodling. And yeah. I usually just go off of that. You know, I have a couple of different ideas and just basic thoughts, thoughts and little scribbles, and I just take those and just throw them and blow them up and just start painting from that. But I really don't think about color ahead of time. Yeah. When it, when I play paintings, I just start with the actual, just the the composition of it, and then I just start going and just start painting layers of layers and just it then just end up with it. I mean, there's so much rad stuff in nature, or just the colors and everything. Just the world we live in is amazing, so I just... That's most of my subject matter, you know? It, sometimes, the, usually there's, it's all, the idea behind it is not just nature. There's a lot of other things going on to it, but, yeah, I just, I'm surrounded by um, nature, I guess. It's just constantly in my mind. How long have you been kind of in this current theme and... Phase. Um, probably like two years now. Yeah. It started off really like collagey, just lots of old books. You know, I did all these like, used to just do all these screen prints. Mm. And then started screen printing them on like old books. And like, just, I just love old books. I have like, tons of them. Um, I love old books and old printed paper. And just from d doing graphic design and print, there's something about physical like old paper so I used to always mm -hmm. collect all these old books from thrift shops and then do screen prints on them and so then I started doing all these collage work and then still painting on the side and then throwing mixing it all together I mean this is this is funny this is a painting I did like eight years ago oh, okay like when I was a little kid like this is I would just paint in that realm just super stock yeah. Which is fun. It was great. I know, like, I was a little kid, so it worked out, but I just got really bored. It just, people saw it, everyone feels the same way. Like, yeah, it's cool, but. Yeah, interesting. There's no, like, you can interpret it in a different way. It is just what it is. Because it looks almost like a photograph. Yeah, it's just. It's good. And then I went from that to the complete opposite, just crazy, buck wild, abstract, weird ones, which I love, and I still. I still do it, but and then this, I just, I really got really into just doing big bold colors, just really simple color and just playing with, like a, just making them look really old. Even like this one, like there's little like crop sections of words and I used to try to do it where you can't really tell what it is, Yeah. which then forces people to think and that's what I really like about it. Just, and people always want to know what it says, and I'm like, well, what does it say to you? And people can, so like, you can take one painting and ten different people will think it's, could have a whole different story. Yeah, screen printing is, for me, just the basis of how I got started with everything. Really? I started screen printing, took like a night, when I was like 14, took like a, an adult education class with my friends at really? the time, and we just learned to screen print and just got super into it. You know, doing a lot of stickers and we were doing graffiti at the time and it was just screen printing was super fun to us we started making shirts and that's how I kind of got into graphic design and yeah, now it's just kind of a mix of everything yeah I'm pumped I mean even now at San Diego they offer screen printing just as a normal class and I think 
I was really involved with a couple of two of the main teachers there yeah. in the high school, and me and my friends just really pushed more and more art cl like classes and design. And in our four year span in high school, we got a whole Mac lab. Really? By the end of it, and we were just really pushing because I mean, we were so interested in design and and an art, so we just. We just bugged our teachers to get into it. Now they have a full they have design classes, screen printing classes, and it's really it's rad that little kids now. So it's yeah. kind of scary. They'll come in like five years, all our jobs will be gone.